What's going on, everybody? I just want to hop up on here just really quick. It's going to be a quick little message. Uh, I was just sitting here driving, you know, coming back from, you know, just playing just a little bit of basketball to myself, just trying to work on my body and stuff, trying to get my body back in shape. And uh, one of the things when I was just sitting here just listening, you know, to some of my songs and stuff, I'm like, man, because God, he just put somebody up on my heart because he showed me in this dream, uh, this, this individual that I know, uh, that you know it was like a funeral i guess we was like we was all like prepared to, for this funeral and i remember seeing her face on there and so i reached out to this person i never talked to this person and uh i know her but i, I never talked to her in public i never talked to her like through message because i always felt like there was something you know she may not like about me or just don't like me period you know sometimes you're gonna have those people and uh that just don't like you just because they just don't like you and something you know it's, it's kind of weird but I had to obey God and I had to send out the message, you know, to really uh, let her know, you know, to be really, really mindful, be careful where you go and stuff because God didn't just give me this, this, the dream out of nowhere. You know, God is about to really uh, deal with you guys on some dreams and some visions and uh, it's going to be very prophetic and uh, it's going to be, they, you know, that's why the enemy's coming after you so hard because these dreams is to help to warn the people before the stuff actually happens. And let them know that if they keep going down that same road, you know, destruction is right down, the, you know, it's right around the corner. So, I know you guys can't see me that much, but. But, uh, so, I've done all that, you know, like I said, once I didn't think so, but I'm like, look, I'm just going to just spread the message with whatever God put up on my heart. And whoever he put up on my heart, I'm just going to give what the Lord says and I'm just going to move out the way. And that's what we all have to do. What God is telling us to speak to certain people, and he may have you to speak to certain people that may not like you, that may not want to have nothing to do with you, that, that don't want to be in your presence, or maybe some people that may hate you. But it doesn't matter. Will you still obey God? That's the real key. Because it doesn't matter if they listen or not. They're going to have to face, they're going to have to uh, give an account. And they're going to have to face God in the afterlife. So at the end of the day, we're just held responsible. Bible said obedience is better than the sacrifice. When God is telling you to speak to somebody, even though that that person, you may think that person ain't going to receive or may not respond or, or may look over your message because they just don't like you. You know, you just got to, what, what the Bible say, dust yourself off. You just got to dust yourself off because you're just going to get people that's going to receive and there's going to be people that, and this is what I say. People don't want to receive because it comes from you. People don't receive because or whatever they heard from, about you back in high school days them high school days is gone the past is gone now this is the presence now into the future everybody somebody in their life has totally changed but somebody's always trying to hold that past against you and i don't know who this is for but i just feel this really in my spirit to really get up on here and just do this little quick little video but so many people man they don't want to receive you because it's just you and sometimes they don't like that god is just using just you because that person, you could say the same thing to that person or give a warning to that person and then and they won't receive it. But that per, but then they can go to another person that's given the same word that I did, uh, gave the warning that that I given them and they'll receive it because oh, it's so called, you know, family or so called co uh, close friends. But I gave you the same warning. It's just it's just it's just different people. But it, it really blows my mind. People don't want to receive anything because it's you, because Oh, I don't like you. Or I can't stand him. Or he's always about this Jesus stuff, Jesus stuff. You know, it just it just really clearly blow my mind how people are. And a lot of times people, they, they, they lose their life because they don't listen. When somebody's really trying to tell them something, you can't tell this. You can't tell nobody in this world anything now anymore. People want to learn the hard way. So I said what I said. I pray that you receive or not. I don't know. But all I can do is, is plant the seed. And it's, a, it's the choice to really take the time I need to look at it or not. At the end of the day, you're going to have to answer to God. So I don't want people to be discouraged or any kind of way. If you got to tell somebody what God is, t uh, is, is putting on your heart or whatever vision he showed you about them, that, they, that you need to send that warning. You got to send that warning out. Because we don't know how some people's getting up out of here. And, and, and if you just... Be honest and, and, and text them or reach out to them and tell them the truth and tell them what God is telling you. Tell them they can, they can, there's a high chance that they can change the way that they're living and stop doing certain things so it don't lead up to that, you know, because there's a, there's a, 
there's a deaf angel that's running around just you know I mean you're hearing about this murder you're hearing about all this just just death hitting the land every time you look up on news man i'm telling you it's death everywhere and not out of 10 it's because somebody's in the wrong place at the wrong time so you got the you got the uh when the holy spirit is led upon you and led somebody upon your heart that you know you like lord this person don't even talk to me this person don't even it doesn't matter it doesn't matter none of that stuff matters that's why i always try to tell them don't look at the vessel Listen to what I'm saying. Don't 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 look at the vessel because so many people that look at the vessel so much and they don't want to receive it because it came from that vessel. Why why has he got to be used? Why why has it got to come from him? Some people just don't want to receive stuff because they just don't like it, and that's the cold hearted truth. But it's not for you to like me. I'm here to tell you the truth because I care and I'm all about souls. Once your heart is fully on souls, that's where all that matter. God's going to take care of the rest. He just wants you to obey him. And so I just want to get up over here and do this video real quick. Hopefully it resonates with somebody. But you got to you got to tell the truth. No matter what these folks feel about you or what they think about you, that none of that stuff matters. You got to tell them the truth. Because that could be a soul that you have won if you tell them the truth. And it's their choice what they want to do with it. It's what they is is it's, it's whatever they want to do with it. Just like somebody give you a gift, you got a choice of, of uh, receiving it or saying no, I don't need that gift. You got a choice. At the end of the day, God leaves us with all the choices. So at the end of the day, y'all be blessed. Y'all be encouraged. God lead, puts it on your heart to you to tell somebody the truth or give them a, or give them a warning. Like I said. Don't be discouraged. Tell it the way the way God is telling you to tell it. And just move forward and pray over pray over it and move forward. That's all you can do. Because like I said, not everybody is going to receive. Not everybody's going to receive. Because it may just be you that they don't like. But at the end of the day, it's not about that. It's about souls, man. I'm trying to see souls walk to the kingdom. And if that means telling you the truth and what God is trying to wake people up to. That's what I'm just going to do. No, it is what it is. So you, you guys be encouraged. Y'all be blessed. Love you. Continue to keep me up in prayer. I'm, you know, slowly, but surely, you know, building up some more strength. Building up some more strength. I'm eating more, a little bit more healthy. I'm eating just a little bit more healthy. So, like I say, y'all keep me up in prayer. Because I definitely, definitely, definitely can use it. Love you guys and be encouraged. And uh, come follow me on my robot. I'll put everything all in my description. Love you guys.